All right, guys and gals, today for your bell ringer, we've got a newspaper article about a tea shop. And this, this article hit close to home because this tea shop in question is right down the street from my house. I drive by it quite a bit. And one thing I have noticed is the, I don't know, I think it's kind of a cute sign that sits out front um, in what's called the tree lawn, the grassy area between the street and the sidewalk. And this small business owner sign has come into question. Now, if you remember last week, we talked about how the government meets the needs of the people. And a weak and ineffective government essentially will not meet the needs or cannot meet the needs of the people. So let's uh, go ahead and read this article and figure out what's going on here. Um, and we'll see how you do. Keep in mind that your question for this article is, how is the city government, the city of Toledo, trying to meet the needs of business owners. Um, keep that in mind, and I'll go ahead and I'll ask you that question again at the end. Now, whenever I read an article, I always like to look at the picture and the caption first, because it kind of gives you a good idea about what's going on. Here, the caption says, Elaine Terman, owner of Elaine's Tea Shop in West Toledo, has been battling with the city for months over the placement of a sign advertising her business. The sign, located as it is between Sylvania Avenue and the sidewalk, is in violation of city ordinance. So her sign is violating city law. Um, we know the placement of her sign is illegal, so let's hear how the city is treating her over this issue and maybe what they're trying to do to better meet her needs because there's obviously a problem going on here. Sometimes when it's David versus Goliath, a teapot gets broken. Elaine Terman, owner of Elaine's Tea Shop in West Toledo, has been embroiled for months in a battle with the city of Toledo about a sign, a conflict that has raised the issue of municipal code enforcement versus the treatment of small businesses in a city striving to appear more business friendly. At issue is a teapot-shaped sign Mrs. Terman has placed on the grass between the sidewalk and the street in front of the tea shop at 30, 3115 West Sylvania Avenue. The city of Toledo is again harassing us about our teapot sign out front, Mrs. Terman wrote in a letter posted on Facebook and reposted by dozens of customers. Ms. Terman moved her business from Sylvania back into Toledo in June. She had previously been in Toledo but spent nine years in the township. I was a little leery about moving back into Toledo because inspectors in Toledo versus Sylvania Township are a different story, she said. I started hearing from customers about how hard it was to spot the shop, Mrs. Terman said. So I had this teapot sign and I put it out there and I started hearing immediately that people saw it. She's right. I had no idea this tea shop was there until one day this giant teapot appeared next to the side of the road. I haven't been there yet, but I know if I'm in the market for some tea, I know exactly where to go. We're going to go ahead and jump to the last column of this article. Remember, your question was, what is the city doing to try and meet the needs of the people? All right, here we go. There are many businesses that have expressed discontent that they can't put out these framed sandwich boards, Mr. Winooski said. One of my goals in 2014 is to get a sign district so that businesses can determine what signs they want and how they want to put them out, and that might alleviate a lot of Elaine's concerns. In the meantime, Ms. Terman's teapot sign remains defiantly and illegally placed on the grass strip out front next to the curb. All right, go ahead and write down your answer on a scrap sheet of paper, and we'll go ahead and have a little discussion here, um, a little group think, once everyone's done.